top nerve strike, number five. A lot of females carry hairbrushes and waitress. They leave their pins laying around. Uh, you can use the butt end of a hairbrush and you can take it through any airport in the world, not a problem. You can use a pin. Uh, amazingly enough, if you've got a person in a bar and they're running, it's real easy to sidestep them and attack them. They're usually not, when they're talking, that's the best time to go ahead and fire into someone. Now, if you, can, if you have real strong hands and you get beside people, once again, you can work their ears, you can work their eyes, you can get under their nose, you can work their throat, get inside their, their notches, their collarbones, and walk them all around. You can twist, turn their heads, pull them, walk them, break the arms. These are all things that we've been looking at before. Now, right below the ear and around the bottom of the jaw, now, we know we've got a bunch of nerves that run here. We've also got one right in behind the ear that will make the person release a grip. Uh, and we've got one that runs right up under the bottom of the chin here that you can control a person with real bad. You can put enough pressure up under here that it will even paralyze temporarily part of the body. So say you don't have real strong fingers. You can reach up, pull by the hair, pull them backwards just a little bit, bump them with your knee, and then take these pins and put them right in their throat and press until they, they literally lose feeling on one side of their body. I'm giving away 200 of our new commando knives. It's based on the original Culvert Vietnam SOG knife. This is a $100 knife, but it's yours for free from the link in the description. Just pay a small shipping and handling fee. Okay, back to our video. One side of their body. You can also, if you ever end up, push your elbows up, get them back trapped like this and go right up in the armpit with one and push. And they've got another one that you can control. They're right down in the crotch like this. And you can walk people around. These are ways to control people by getting, lifting their arms, getting the elbows higher, head level, using them as part of your chokes, bringing them back over top of the head and pulling like this. And you can really walk a guy around. They have a hard time resisting like this. Uh, just remember, if you don't have the hand strength, and even if you do, if you've got a pencil, a pen, a comb, a brush, you can take these things and place your thumb and just run them right in here and walk these people where you want them to go. And uh, any of the other areas that we worked along the body, up in the, up in the bottom of the arms, along the wrist, little come-alongs, uh, anywhere, for example, like along the wrist here, where the bone is real close to the skin, not a lot of muscle. You can put enough pressure in here to move the elbows and make people walk around. Uh, and then you have your natural come-alongs that were if, for example, someone was slap, holding on to you or grabbing, like I said before, you can slap their hands down, lift, pull, slide inside. Now I'll switch around for you here, switch. And once you get in here, you plug your elbow in here, grab their little fingers, and put your pressure right in here and just lift them up and walk them out of the door. Top nerve strike number four. Pressure point strikes. Got to explain a few things as we begin. Pressure point strikes, we're going to overload the energy of our body. These two particular pressure point strikes, I'm looking to land on my opponent's neck. The first one we call the stomach, nine. Second one is triple warmer, 17. These are just simple terms for us to indicate numerically on the body where we're going to strike. We have over 800 points in the body. I only want to show you two. In the fight, if you have less to focus on, fewer options, you'd be more likely to use this. So looking at Joel's neck, first strike. First thing we have to understand is I'm going to create a notch on my hand. I'm going to make a fist, put my thumb down on the top finger, squeeze tight. Makes tight fist, great striking tool. Second, we're going to go back with that same speed striking scenario. Bottle in the hand or I'm covering the wrist. As I step in, using that same hip motion, same twisting motion, same circular motion as a slap strike, I'm going to step into my opponent and right before it hits the neck, Close into that fist position, tap into the nerve. You can see with just a little tap, there's a reaction. We're going to actually show you and demonstrate a live knockout uh, attempt here. I'm going to see if I can knock this big man out, and we're going to go live. Okay? But we're going to wait a bit, because once we do this, it's going to take him a few moments to recuperate. Let's look at the triple warmer 17 first. I'm going to push him along. I can make this man go wherever I want. Watch his reaction. I'm going to take either two fingers or the thumb. Arch the thumb up. Insert just at the edge of the jaw. Watch his reaction. Doesn't like it. Okay? What I'll do with him, I'm going to actually take him to the ground. Okay. Joel's a big man, 250, 260 pounds. The nerves help control our body. Once we interrupt that nervous system, 
we tend to get, we can get people to collapse. The pressure point strikes overload the system so fast that it actually will shut itself down, and that's our goal. When we use pressure point strikes, our goal is to immediately knock somebody out and move on to our next opponent. It takes some expertise, but if we really look, it's simple to hit. I'm looking for this circular area right here on this muscle. Okay? If we can find the muscle, right there on the muscle, we're just going to tap into that resource or that energy. It doesn't like this. This is actually sending in some energy into that neck. It doesn't like it. Now let me demonstrate the, the, the punch or the strike slowly so we don't hurt him. As he has the bottle or throws a strike, as I step in, same as the slap, speed strike, going to use my nerve strike hand, thumb up, step in, strike in the nerve. We're going to speed it up just a touch. Still not going to try to knock him out, but I want you to see his reaction. Okay, a little bit of reaction. Now, we're going to have some people off stage ready because what I'm going to do is knock this man out. Okay, more than likely what's going to happen, he'll just drop to the ground. We're going to wake him up a little bit, and then I'll give you some precautions. Are you ready? Ready. Okay, here we go. Okay, let's help him up. Excellent. He's shaking it off. While he's shaking this off, what we want to talk about is not a technique that we want to demonstrate with our friends at full speed. Not something we want to do to our loved ones. So, what we want to do with our loved ones is get the targeted area, warm it up with your thumb. If they express some discomfort, you'll know the area to strike. You okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's look at it one more time. Let's look at the area that we're going to strike. Stomach nerve number nine. It's a simple name for it. Looking for that pressure point. Using my triangular stance, stepping in into the middle, keeping hands up for protection, perhaps holding the bottle, stepping in with that circular motion right before it hits, close my hand, and strike that nerve. He doesn't want to hit too many more times. He doesn't want to get knocked out again. Now, you'll notice the knockout didn't last very long because I'm not hitting at full force. If I decide to hit this man at full force, it causes knockout for a length of time or it can cause death. So we need to be careful with the people that we love or care about, and I care about this guy. So we're going to be very careful. Again, triple warmer number 17, under the edge of the jaw, we're going to insert two fingers or the thumb, causing discomfort. We're pinned up against the wall. He's got me pinned, grabs a hold of me. Easy to take control of, OK? Easy to take control of. If I want to grab with my thumb, run it across the nerves, very uncomfortable. A little strike in the nerves, very uncomfortable. But we're using these pressure point strikes to knock our man out or to take him out of the scene. Two fingers, thumb, or striking hand. Okay, I'm gonna break in here again to remind you of our Flash YouTube free offer. I'm now giving away 200 of our new Commando knives for free. The design is based on the SOG blade used by Special Forces in Vietnam. Get to the link in the description, just pay shipping, and it's yours for free. Okay, back to our video. Top nerve strike number three. In this first technique, uh, we're gonna start out with a very simple anatomy discussion here. I'm gonna show you, <coughs> this is, bony structure right here. From this space down to here, where the top of the bone is, there's a little vacant area in here, a little hole. We're gonna use this finger as a striking object and against the choke hold. And you need to follow very carefully. This technique, you do not hold it straight like a stick and push it straight in. Okay. It's a difficult target to attack that way, and uh, the uh, probability uh, factor is way off because of uh, the, the tiny point you have to hit. You use your hand like this, this finger a little bit curved. Okay, You attack here, you push in and go straight down Okay, from a choke hold. Okay, now one thing we're gonna also say here, when I grab him to choke him, one of the misconceptions they teach is somebody grabs you like and chokes like this. People don't choke like that. People choke like this. Come on up. We're gonna go slowly on this one. He's not gonna choke me nearly as hard this time while we talk slowly. Put the choke on. Okay, you're being left open here. You have at least one, one and a half seconds before, even if they're pressing in on the, on the arteries and choking off your blood supply, you have one to one and a half seconds. You don't have to hurry that much. You push in, the finger's a little curved, and you push straight in to start, curve it straight down. You can hold the person in the position. I let off right now. I've let off to hold. You try and stand up. He stays right back down. It's a controlling hold, but that isn't what we want you to use it for. You put the person down, use a knee to the face, 
Turn and go. You've conquered this uh, confrontation. Okay. One more time. Choke. Full board. Choke. <laughs> Hold on. This time, his shirt. Come on, back up in the way. We're going to show this. Because the shirt got in the way this time, doesn't stop the technique. It doesn't matter. As long as you're not trying to poke straight in, you will miss the target that uh, too many times. If you curve it down like this, it's easier to hit the target. You use the bottom of this bone here as a guide to get in. Top nerve strike number two. One, even though a person is muscular, it doesn't stop us from being able to attack the pressure points on his body. We can start with the nose by pressing in. Again, any time we attack a particular part of a person's body, they will move away from it. So if we're not going to brace that individual to stop them from moving, we may lose the hold or the technique. You have to keep that in mind when you're doing this. If you're doing it as an escape, that's one thing. If you're doing it as a means of controlling the individual, that is extremely something uh, different. We can go in here, right in the hollow at the base of the neck. One thing we want to do is be able to work the whole head and everything around it from the, the jaw, the gum line. I can take and go in here, which would create a lot of pain by taking the bone in my wrist, pressing it against the gum line and teeth in his chin and rolling it in onto him, locking his chin in place. This would eliminate him from being able to use his neck and upper body to flip me. Again, by going in here, I can take and create, he will go away from that pain, which is right in your, right at the jaw, joint or the jawbone. By pressing in, Doing it to yourself, you'll feel exactly what I'm talking about. <clears throat> now, I can also go at the earlobe, press in, right into each other, and again, he will feel a large amount of pain there. I can combine pressure points. I can go in here, reach around and grab the nose, and use what is called a nose bridge. Top nerve strike, number one. What is being done here again? It's being very up close. This time he's able to get close enough to trap my hands inside of inside of uh, myself. He's wrapped around. Now I can't. I might be able to get in, into this area, but it'll be a little difficult. So now what I do is I bring in in, in a semicircle, and grab. Ah. what I'm doing is I'm going into the sternum ah. and digging tight. What happens is that the bone feels like it's getting crushed. There's a crushing sensation going on. Now this hand wraps around, either I lock his arm up here, and then I shoot from here, as you can see, okay, the pressure is right in here. So you dig into the edge of the cap, goes in here, and then in. Uh, it creates excruciating pain, and also you could probably puncture uh, or crush the bone a little bit in here. Now you slide it up, and again, you hook into the trachea area, and you lock. Now, you cross step, if he pulls to grab my arm, <laughs> lock, <laughs> Last reminder of the special giveaway I set up for 200 lucky guys. I'm giving away a $100 Commando fixed blade knife for free. There are only 200 available, just pay shipping and handling, and this baby is yours for free. Get to the link in the description in time, and I'll rush one out to you right away. Thanks for watching our video lessons here at TRS Direct. Hit the like button down below and consider subscribing to our channel here on YouTube. Hit the bell icon and we'll send you a notification when there's a new lesson available. Thanks again for watching.